Hello, everyone, and welcome into episode three of the T55 build. In this episode, we'll finish up with the construction and get ready for painting. As I finished up with the last episode, I was just about ready to add the auxiliary fuel tanks to the fender. And I have a couple choices here, the Tamiya version, the Legend version, or the Tacom version. And in the end, I'm using the Tacom version. And one important reason why I chose those over the Legend is that I can melt these and do some damage to them. So with a rod that I use on a flame, I just make some small indentations. And these can then be sanded back a little bit and it actually looks like dents, and that's what I'm looking to have happen here. Not so much burn marks or melt marks, but I wanna make dents. And a little bit of sanding with both the sanding stick and fine grit sandpaper, and pretty soon I have something that's gonna look realistic once painted for sure. Once the fuel tanks have enough dents and dings on them to my liking, then it's just a matter of adding them onto the fenders. A little super glue will keep them in place. And the nice thing about the Tacom kit is that the plumbing between the fuel tanks is all included, so that's nice. I did decide to use some of the small parts, the photo etch parts from the Legend set, as they had some really nice brackets that came in really handy. So once that's done, then it's just a matter of some test fitting here just to make sure everything lines up just properly, and of course it does. So we're ready to move on to the next steps. There's a little bit of preliminary work that needs to happen on the turret before we start, and that's mostly just drilling out some location holes. But really the majority of the work has to do with the ERA brackets and the ERA blocks. There's a ton of them, and you really have to pay attention on these, make sure you're doing it in the right sequence. So, you know, it's old school, but just marking them off as you go really helps just to keep track. And then it's just a matter of gluing them all in place and again, just a little bit of patience. It's not difficult work, it's just a little bit time consuming and yeah, a little bit fiddly at times. <sighs> Once all the brackets are in place, then you have this porcupine of a turret. And let me tell you, that's a little bit more fragile than I had hoped it would be. I knocked a few of these off and had to keep putting them back on. With the brackets installed, then the next step is adding the ERA blocks. And before I did that, I wanted to make sure that the primer underneath these would be covered up, so I just add a little bit of dark green. And then it's just a matter of snipping the blocks off the sprue and starting to add them in place one by one. And just the same as with the brackets themselves, uh, the ERA blocks, they have different shapes that go into different brackets. So again, just go a little bit slow, take your time, and watch the instructions. I use just a little bit of Mr. Surfacer just to kind of fill in the gaps where the brackets are attached to the hole itself. And then I decided to go ahead and make new grab handles from some bent wire. I had pre-drilled some holes into the turret, so that's where the wires will be inserted into. And I just did this because I really like the idea of being able to add a little bit of damage to these grab handles, just in keeping with this beat up nature of what this T55 is gonna look like in the end. And once the wires are inserted into the holes, then it's just easy just to bend them over on the inside and secure it with a little bit of super glue and help to hold them in place. And the last step is just adding the main gun to the turret. And I honestly didn't even think about ordering a metal barrel, but this is gonna work just fine. Just a little bit of careful sanding and puttying. Next, I tackle the side skirts that go onto the sides of the fenders that also hold the ERA blocks there as well. And once again, Tacom parts fit really nicely with the photo etch parts, so that's really good to see. They must have been using the same reference tank to measure off of. And speaking of references, my images show that these side skirts were just all beat up and torn apart, so that's what I'm going to do here. And so I just, between the individual sections, score it with an exacto so I can break them apart. And then at the same time, a lot of these are made out of rubber components on the tops and the bottoms. So I wanted those to show the wear and the curling that I see in those photographs as well. A little bit of brute force was able to do most of it. And then the ERA blocks, well, again, similar as I did onto the hull. I'm just going to break some of these apart so that I have individual blocks to work with. And then in those places where I want to show missing ERA blocks, I still need to have some of the bracketing expose what would have been the bracketing. So I just use some, some of the scrap PE and just make small strips and just kind of use them behind the scenes there and bend them around so it looks like they've been ripped off. 
and then I have my side skirts ready to install onto the fenders. But I won't do that yet because I still need to put the tracks on and that would make it very difficult. But it is time to put the fenders on. And to start with, I rub them down with some alcohol to get rid of all that flux and all the fingerprints and then lightly sand the contact surfaces so it has a little bit better adhesion. To install them, I'll just be using super glue and just apply a little bit of that onto those little tabs that we made in episode one and then stick the fender on and make sure it's all aligned and where I need it to be. And then just tack it down with a little bit of super glue and I just use a little bit of an accelerator just to make sure everything's nice and ready to go as quick as possible. And then finally, once we have our really nice fenders in place, it's time to bang them up. This part's always fun and a little bit uh, scary as well, but just use flat pliers and I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna do a lot of real big severe damage because those side skirts are gonna cover up a lot of this anyway but I just want to twist and bend some of this. And with that, I'm done. I also installed some rule tracks, which you can see underneath, but I'll be pulling those off in just a little bit as we get ready for painting. There we go, our T55 is complete, and the next episode will be all about the painting. I appreciate you hanging out with me, and please like and subscribe.